Another day's journey God kept me here Lied on Many times I've been lied on But I'm still here Dark days, I had my share of dark days, but I'm still here. Burdens, I had my share of burdens, but I'm still here. Bruises, I take my lumps and bruises, but I'm still here. Through it all, I made it through another day's journey. God kept me here. The way hasn't always been easy. I made it through another day's journey God kept me in listen by the grace of God that I'm still here today he was always there no matter what came my way of present help in my time of need he was standing right there just to see about me I made it through I'm still here I had to lay up midnight hours praying I made it through I'm still here I made it through Yes, I made it I'm still here Yes, the way hasn't always been easy We're leading up to this 40th church anniversary oh God we had to kneel down and pray uh, sometime the community went against us. Uh, but we're still here lifting up and standing for God holding on to his unchanging hand yes I made it through yes I made it I'm still here Yes, I made it. I'm still here. I made it through yesterday's journey. I'm still here. I made it through another day's journey. I'm still here.
Jesus. Hi. Read from Psalm, uh, Genesis 37, 18 through 21. And verse 18 starts, When they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. And they said one to another, Behold, the dreamer come. Come now, therefore, and let us slay him. Cast him into some pit, and we say, Some evil beasts have devoured him, and we shall see what we will come of dreams. And Reuben heard it, and he delivered him out of their hands, and said, Let us not kill him. I'm sorry, and that was verse 21. We're going to Genesis 50, and we're just going to read one verse, and that's verse 20. But as for you, thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring to pass as it is this day to save much people alive. Hallelujah. May God add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word in Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He meant it for my good. He meant it for my good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. He allowed other folks' foolishness to give me my good. We, we thank the Lord today for being here. And as we go before the Lord in prayer, we're remembering again a number of bereaved families, a number, a number of bereaved families. We're remembering. Um, Sister Connie Wilson and the loss of her uh, grandmother. Amen. We're remembering Pastor Warren McMillan and the loss of his mother. Amen. And we're, and we're remembering uh, Sister Minnie Stewart and the loss of her sister. Um, and also uh, Minister Kenny Gilmore. Uh, his mom was funeralized on yesterday. Miss Mary, 99 years old. Praise the Lord. And uh, also the family down at Bethlehem. I can't remember the name of that family right now. Simmons, yes. And uh, we, I, yes, I just, on my way in this morning, Sister Cassie told me that uh, Brother Sean Day from Dayton, some of the young people will remember, young man, young man, has gone on to be with the Lord. Amen. That's uh, Mother Rosie Day's son, Sean, and... Uh, just a great young man, amen. Just saw him recently, and he looked well. We knew that there was sickness, but he looked well. We're going to pray and lift all of these families and even others that uh, whose names that we uh, fail to call, maybe can't always remember to call. But I tell you this morning, God is still able. Made it through another day's journey. We're still here because our assignment is not over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said we're here because our assignment is not over. Tell somebody I'm still on the clock. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm still on the clock. Hallelujah. My time card is still there ticking away. Oh, God. That is why it's good to know that it's in him we live and move and have our being. Hallelujah. It's good to know he's able to keep that which we've committed to him against that day. Makes us the head and not the tail. Amen. The first and not the last. All of these things. Somebody say all of these things. In the name of Jesus. You may come to the altar. You may come. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Oh, God. Oh, Lord God, old song, old song. Keep my soul from day to day under the blood, under the blood. Keep doubt and sin. And feel away under 
the precious blood. Oh, keep me under the blood, the precious blood. Under the cleansing, he From day to day, under the precious blood. It's been a long time, but lift your voice and say, Keep me under the blood, the precious blood. Under the cleansing and healing flow, just keep, keep me Savior from day to day. Keep me under the precious blood. Hallelujah. Prayer list today, Pastor Matthew Quivers. Amen. Amen. And Brother Sean's name is on the prayer list. Hallelujah. Mother Iona Ellis and Mother Geneva Chapman, Mother Helen Stiles, Mother Minnie Wade, and she was here. Amen. For Elder Gordon's celebration. Hallelujah. Sister Arlene Gones, Deacon Hubert Harper, Mother Reba Allen. Bishop Bowers, Lady Bowers, Elder James Freed, hallelujah, brother and sister Clarence and, and Fanny Morris, Sister Bulina Holland, Mother Annie Costin, Trustee Preston Clark, Brother Ardell Griffin, amen, Sister Gwen Logan, Mother Ruby Jones, Deacon Samuel Wheeler, Brother Leonard Jackson, Deacon Johnny and Mother Gussie Wallace, Pastor Warren McMillan, Deacon Calvin McDay, Sister Juanita Bohannon, Mother Ann Johnson, Mother Priscilla Sutton, Deacon Richard Johnson, and Mother Gussie Christian. Praise the Lord. Last time I forgot to turn the paper over. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, of course we've, uh, 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 oh, Elder Carter, Elder Cece. Claude Carter. Uh, Claude lost his mom. She was funeralized on yesterday. Please pray much, much for that family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just take a moment and thank the Lord. There was a shooting down the street either late last night and two people were killed right across over that bar. Hallelujah. If the world is going to do what it does, then we need to do what we do. If they're going to keep on acting a fool, then we need to keep on acting faithful. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Prayer is our weapon. Faith activates it all. Love undergirds it all. In him we live and move and have our being. So God, we're thankful. We're thankful for a mind just to praise you today. That old mind, that old mind, that old mind we had is gone. You have caused us to sit together in heavenly places. And because of that, alone, we give you glory. Hallelujah. You're worthy of all of our praise. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the saint. You're worthy of all of our praise. When we really do think of your goodness, something down on the inside causes us to just to bless you, to cry out hallelujah, to magnify you, to lift you, to glorify you. You are our source and strength. Shalom basabat. You are our healing portion right now in your name oh god as evangelists 
Gibbons comes to take us to the throne of grace. We are prepared. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All the stony ground, all the fallow ground is broken up. We are ready to receive the word of God in the prayer that it comes through in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Kind Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we come before you, Lord God, with thanksgiving in our hearts, Lord God, for your goodness and your mercy, Lord God. We thank you for being in your house, Lord God, just one more time, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we thank you for life, health, and strength, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we come before you with every name that was called out this morning, every outspoken request, Lord, every unknown request, Lord God. All those that are at the altar today, Lord God, we pray that you will touch, Lord God. We pray a special blessing upon them today, Lord God. Name by name, Lord God. Condition by condition, Lord God. Situation by situation, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we know that whatever it is, Lord God, you're more than able, Lord God, to fix it, Lord God. You're more than able to heal, Lord God. We pray for healing today, Lord God. We pray that you will lift up the bow down heads today, Lord God. We pray for those that are sick in their body, Lord God. Their body that's wrecking with pain on today, Lord God. We pray for a special touch right now, Lord God, that they'll be able to sit through the service and get a word from you, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we pray for those that are on their way, Lord. Those that are desired to be here and not able, Lord Jesus. We pray that you will go into the nursing homes, Lord God, the prison walls, Lord God, the hospital rooms, Lord God, and touch in a mighty way, Lord God. We plead the blood of Jesus today. Hallelujah. We know there is power in your name, Jesus. Oh, there is wonder working power in your name, Jesus. Oh, Lord God, we cast down anything that's not like you, Lord God. Anything that exalts itself above the knowledge of you, Lord God, we cast it down, Lord God. Oh, Satan, you are a defeated foe today. Hallelujah. Jesus rose with all power. Hallelujah. In his hands, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we pray for our pastor, our apostolic father, our first lady, Lord God, the first family, Lord God, the great Emmanuel apostolic temple family, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we pray that you will have your way in the service today. Lord God, we pray that some soul will go down in your precious name today. We pray that some soul will be filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost today, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for a spirit of repentance today for the backslider, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we know that you care, Lord God. You told us to cast our every care on you, for you care for us, Lord God, as we commit all these cares in your hands, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we know you're more than able, Jesus. Do it, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He was talking about here to there and that the T represented uh, travel and transmission. And the sentence that came to my mind was, I am here, but I am going there. And what came to my mind was, so we start here in our lives. We start at a base point. A starting point but when we go there the only difference between here and there is the T but the reason you put it in a sentence is because the end of the sentence the word has to start with the lowercase letter and that lowercase letter is a lowercase T and that lowercase T represents the crucifixion the burial and the resurrection the cross. because it's a cross of course and that represents our salvation because that's where our salvation comes from, amen? amen? It also has to be a lowercase represent the embarrassment, the cruelty, and the truly demeaning event that Jesus Christ went through on the day of crucifixion. Yeah. The, sin, the, thing that's, the things that he has subjected himself to for our sins is what that lowercase t represents. The question is, how do we get the salvation from the t? The beginning of the sentence says, I am here. So the important part to pull from that is the I am. I am. Because John 14 and 6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one come to the Father except through me. Or you could go to John 6 and 35. I am the bread of life. The I am appears twice in the sentence to show he is there throughout the journey as you are going through life because he is the beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega, amen. 
But he has also said throughout the Bible, he will never leave you nor forsake you. So he, when he says, I am here, he is there in the beginning, and he is there in the middle, and then he is there at the end. But the thing we should never forget is once we get there, we still have to be here. Because the T is in the beginning of the word there, but here is still there. So even though you started here, when you get there, you still have to be here. So because when you receive your salvation and you found the T, you still had to be here for the person who didn't find the T yet. So the, I guess the moral of the message is even when you get there, stay here. Can we say amen? amen? That is outstanding. That is rich. That, that is insight. You can get there by staying here. <laughs> Hallelujah. We, we take for granted that. And, and I don't know if you have noticed it. God is trying to show us that what we need is in the house. It's, it's in the house. Um, and the wonderful thing about it being in the house, because it is in the house, it has been tailor-made for the house. Hallelujah. I want to recognize uh, uh, Elder Denison. Amen. And uh, praise the Lord to you and, and your companion, I believe. Uh, if I, I can't see well from here, and then if I put these on, I can't see even, I will see even less that far away. But let us say uh, amen. 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 This great man of God, known God through the years, this powerful family. So happy to see you. And our other guest, Anna L. Dinson, you are uh, Elder Elder, but you are welcome to come and sit with us. Uh, and both, both of y'all preachers, y'all can all come. Hallelujah. Amen. We, we, have, we have enough space for the preachers to come. So amen. you're certainly welcome to do that. Amen, amen. Um, <clears throat> I want to go back to Genesis. Um, and I want to revisit the s story of Joseph. The thing that I said during that session this week that made me, in, that my heart was moved, was taken... Um, from the information that we have in our spirit. In other words, God gives us thoughts about things sometimes. And then we have to connect and find a scripture <laughs> to put to the thought. Uh, can, can some of the preachers say amen? amen. You, you know, you, all the times you don't get the scripture first, you get the idea that God wants to convey. And once I got the idea, once he gave me the idea, this scripture came to my heart. I heard, uh, I heard uh, in my spirit. But as for you, you thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring to pass as it is this day to save much people alive. The thought that I got during that session was who we are in God. Yeah. Somebody say who I am in God. Am in God. Is greater than what I have to get through to get there. Who we are in God is greater than what we have to go through to get there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I already had all of that written out and when Julius read what he did, I said, oh, it's another confirmation. Hallelujah. Sometimes we think that the road God has chosen for us is too hard 
too ugly, too difficult, doesn't make any sense. Anybody hand up except mine? Right. Hallelujah. And, 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 and at the bottom of the whole thing, or at the end of the day of the thing is, God knows because he's the one that orchestrated the course. Right. Now, with that being said, somebody say, but Lord, I had some detours. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I'm a person. My detour became my destination. In the Holy Ghost, God knows how to make your detour your destination. I had no plans of coming to Cincinnati, Ohio. The only reason I came was because I couldn't find a job anywhere else. And I only had a summer research job I wasn't supposed to stay. Cincinnati was a detour in my plan. Good God Almighty. But God took my detour and gave me my destination. Hallelujah to God. Because who I am in him is greater than what I got to go through to get where he wants me. Anybody hear what I'm talking about today? If you look at the life of Joseph... The boy's life was full of detours. You know, it would have been something if the Lord had told me everything that was going to be in the end before I started going through the stuff to get to where I am. But I didn't get all of that. It was more like what happened with Abraham. Get up and leave. And I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you, hallelujah, like the sands of the sea. But he didn't tell him about all the Amorites and Amalekites and parasites, hallelujah, and trollobites and all the ice and the bites. <laughs> if God were to allow us to see everything that we would go through to get there, most of us would moonwalk back right out of God's presence. Hallelujah. But he tells us, I want to use you. He tells us, I want to bless you. He tells us, I'm going to be with you. And then we're supposed to get ourselves together, make up our mind that God knows what he's talking about. And then we're supposed to stretch out and let him have his way. Because who I am in him is greater than what I got to go through to get there. Hallelujah. 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 Don't be discouraged. Uh, tie a knot in it and hold on. Uh, however you have to hold on. Uh, help is on the way. When we were up in Zanesville, uh, and there were just three of us down there, uh, Richard, uh, 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 church steward Richard, and, and uh, um, 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 Minister Evangelist Nicole, we're down there, big old lake to ourselves, uh, representing the young people. Hallelujah. Uh, and... and uh, we, I, I turned my radio up, praise the Lord, so we could have some music in the background. And, and as our prayer was ending, the song came on, hold on, help is on the way, hallelujah. I, oh Lord, Nicole and I, we went to rejoicing because even through the airways, God was sending a confirmation that help is on the way. Help is already here. But sometimes we have to wait for the manifestation of what God has already done. Remember, God sees the future. He sees the middle. He sees the beginning all at the same time. So God already sees your victory because in him, all time is all time at all times. Did you hear what I said? He's looking at my birth and my death all at the same time. He knows my success. I don't need to worry about it. I need to hold on. I need to trust him. I need to say, Lord, you're able. And I'm willing. So let me slow down here. Let me back up and slow down. I learned from my, my sister minister, King Victoria, that she gave him a marvelous uh, acronym for faith. I trust she wrote it. If she didn't, I put it in my book and gave her credit for it. Hallelujah. She said, faith, F-A-I-T-H, is finding answers in trusting him. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Finding answers in trusting him. 
Uh -huh. if, if, if you know that God is allowing evil, the e e allowing even the evil that someone has perpetrated on you to work out for your good, what a praise is that? Yeah, I'm going to slow down on that one. Because y'all know we don't be acting happy when somebody be perpetrating evil against us. I don't care how many tongues you speak in. Most times when people lie on you and set you up and do all of that despicable stuff, you want to take your Holy Ghost and do this. <laughs> now I know I'm telling the truth. Because some of you have done it to me, hallelujah. A long time ago, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Because of who we are, because of spirit being a, a spiritual being in a flesh and physical body, there are things we don't always manipulate properly depending on what day and time of the season it is in our lives. If it's one of those days where you done already said to the devil, just one more thing, just one more thing, just, just one more, just one more. Come on, raise your hand. You know you said it. I just, all I, I, just one more is going to be all up in here. As if the enemy is going to be buffaloed by our dare. And when he brings the one more, we can't do what we said we're going to do. <laughs> At least you shouldn't do what you said you did. No matter what you have to go through, it is not greater than who you are in God. I'll prove it. In the times when we drop the, the ball, in the times when we fumble the situation, uh -huh, and seemingly with all the wolf tickets we've sold, that God would walk away from us in our moment of foolishness, he does not. In that time, he loves us with an everlasting love. And when we don't even want to forgive ourselves, his love, oh, shut some of y'all didn't hear what the preacher said the other week when it says, shall anything separate us from the love of God? Hallelujah. He said, y'all been looking at the wrong side of this. It's not what you do that can separate you from the love of God. He said, the scripture means there's nothing that you can do that will stop him from loving you. When he saved you, he saw you messing up. When he saved you, he saw your temper. When he saved you, he saw your anger. When he saved you, he saw our disposition. When he saved me, he... But that didn't stop him from saving me. Because who I am in him is greater than what I have to go through. Is that a word for anybody today? I said, is that a word for anybody today? Hallelujah. Get ready, get ready. <laughs> when your detour becomes your destination, uh, when your enemy uh, tries to stop you and God is still telling you to go ahead, hallelujah, <laughs> when your feelings have been hurt uh, and laid and nailed up to a wall uh, and then God still causes you to love anyhow, causes you to forgive anyhow, it's because greater is he that's in you than the devil in the world. <laughs> it's because uh, you have taken on the nature of Christ when he filled you with his spirit you became connected with him in such a way that your old man really is dead and it tries to resurrect itself but you keep that joker in the coffin because God is doing a great work in you God is bringing you up God is bringing you out God is making you shine God is making you the head and not the tail. God has wrapped his arms around you and he won't let you go. God has declared the end from the beginning. He wants you to be more than a conqueror. He wants you to be the head and not the tail. The first and not the last. Woo! Yeah. 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 Give me a couple of more minutes. 
Jesus. Come on, they are all silent. I am. The righteousness of God. I am the head and not the tail. I am the apple of his eye. I am his bride. I am above and not beneath. I am in the beloved. I am strong and not weak. I am rich and not poor. I am healed. I am saved. I am delivered. I am because God says I am. It is in Him, not in the Belton, that I live, that I move. When my heart is overwhelmed, He leads me to a rock. That is higher than I am. Most folk that do dumb stuff operates out of fear and stupidity. And that's not to be insulting. Hallelujah. Deacon Tate said, but it's true anyhow. We allow fear cause us to do crazy stuff and to think crazy thoughts and nobody is exempt from it. Fear, old acronym, false evidence appearing real. Can I break it down? You believe the lie and the lie made a fool out of you. You know how dangerous it is? It's so dangerous that when you tell people the truth, they'll still believe the lie. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Tell them the truth. Yes, you did. But I mean, yes, you did. Pastor Tim, I know you did. Then what else is going to do then? What else is going to do? All you got is the truth. That's right. And somebody look at you right in your eyeball, telling you that your truth is a lie. You know that's going on on a national level right now, praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> and everybody knows that's a mess. Therefore, the Holy Ghost in us has to be greater than the ignorance in the individual right. who is letting fear rule their lives. Your love has to be great enough to cover a multitude of stuff that you don't want to be aggravated with. Come on, let's be real. Because what happens when you're dealing with that, you get aggravated. You be saying something like, well, well I guess they never knew me. They ought to know that I was. Then you try to find somebody else to be your co-sign, to be your witness. Ooh. Then they look at both of you and say, I don't believe it. Fear is letting your feelings ego attack reason. Another acronym for faith is this one, though. Fresh anointings in true humility. All right. I didn't say false humility. False humility is folks say, oh, 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 no, don't call my name. Oh, I, don't, I don't want no recognition. And if you forget the initial, they put it on Facebook. That's false humility. You want recognition. You want to be singled out, but you act like you don't. And then when somebody as crazy as me to try to believe what you say, don't recognize you. I thought he was saved. 
I can't believe he did me again. Come on, everybody but me and grandma. But she said, you didn't want everybody to know that you made the best sweet potato pie in Hamilton County. What we go through is not equal to who we are in God. But it does make us who we are in God. Give me 10 more minutes. Give me 10 more minutes. Joseph's journey was amazing. Every time it seemed like the bar is going to get a, a foot up, somebody pulled the rug out from under him. And it was in his own house. Then it was in the house that somebody gave him. Then it was in the jailhouse. But he stayed in the house. He stayed here till he got there. And then his there became his here. Hallelujah. Remember he said, you meant it for evil. So that lets us know there are folk who really do have evil intentions against you. But that does not stop God from blessing you. He said, God allowed them to do it because God was going to show who you really were and who he really is. He said, I can take you through it. I'll bring you out of it and still give you enough grace that you will have to save them alive. The one that lied on you, you got to defend them. The one that stabbed you in the back, you got to still love them. The one that dug a ditch for you, you got to rest down because they're the ones that fell in and pull them out. Your journey. I wrote this, Lord have mercy. From Joseph's journey to Job's justification. It's a process. There is a process. Somebody say process. process. I'm just going to read these out. We'll, we'll, we'll go into detail in, in Bible class. There is a process that purifies your personal place. There was a process that protects your parts. There was a process that preserves your promised portion. We have a promised portion in God. Is that right? Anybody got a promised portion? You got something that God has said was yours. He's, oh Lord, have mercy, have mercy. He spoke it to you. He put it in your spirit. You heard it from a sermon. You heard it from a song. And it got in your spirit to the point. You say, oh my goodness, God is talking to me. That's mine, that's mine right there. <clears throat> After the process, there comes a pattern. The process speaks of the progressive or the progression of the things that you get engaged in in order to bring your here to there. The pattern are the procedures and the policies and the protocols of how you're going to do it. <laughs> there is a pattern that projects your potential. Lord have mercy. I got to read this one. I got to read this one. This speaks to us seeing and saying what God says about us. Your pattern speaks to the fact that you start seeing you the way God sees you and saying about you what God says about you. Do you know how much time we spend talking about what other folks say about us? Especially if it's a lie. Is that not a waste of time? In other words, do you think what someone says about you should change your mind? What God has already told you who you are? Are you going to let some half say Anybody here bow leg? Bow leg, you know. Kool Aid drinking. Cause you to redefine yourself because they got an issue in their tissue. 
We can no longer allow people to steal our time with foolishness when they don't even know what they're talking about. Tell somebody there's another shift in this house. There's another shift in this house. My dear, what the, what the elder Jean say? My dear, and then boy, she will blast you. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. <laughs> now y'all done to see y'all didn't know y'all done see y'all done sanctified us so much. Y'all know mom was bless you good, mess up, oh, yeah. and still love you. Bless you in the morning, bless you in the evening, bless you when the sun go down. And said, now come on here, sweetie. We do people an injustice when we let them continually perpetrate and cause foolishness without any kind of confrontation at all. Even if you have to start by saying, you know that is not true, you know that is not right, and you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You have to do that and do this right here and step on off. I'm not talking about fighting and acting crazy. I'm just saying, drawing a line in the sand and said, you know what, now, I've allowed you to carry on like this for a long time. And it seems like you ain't changing. And I'm not going to let you aggravate me enough so that you're going to make me change. So let me tell you something right here now. Can somebody shout, true that, Pastor? All right. We're about to be inundated with all kinds of folk in this celebration. We're going to have people from the shelters and all of that, plus saints getting tired from being on the road, hallelujah, and they know that what they were wearing was not comfortable, but it was the best thing they thought they had to look good, and they'd rather think they were looking good than to be comfortable. Their feet are hurting, they can't breathe because the girl in the dress is too tight, hallelujah to God. Yes. And they walk up in here trying to have church, and all they need is for you to say and do something wrong. And then they go off on you. Y'all know y'all got another chicken wing back there. I, I don't want no fire. I told you two wings so I can fly home. Hallelujah. We've had this wonderful conference about, you, you know, how may I serve you. We've had this wonderful conference about, you know, Put, putting forth the right attitude. Well, you're going to get a, get, here comes your exam. Huh? Here comes your final exam. And you've got to remember that who you are in God is greater than what folk may try to take you through. You got to remember that the people from the street, from the shelters are perpetrating. You got to remember that they don't have necessarily the Jesus that you have. You got to remember that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You got to remember that the love that God shed on all of us, if we, he was to mock iniquity, none of us would stand. Hallelujah! We got to remember we don't want our life on the screen. I be sitting to ooh, I can't talk to her. Ooh, I can't talk to him. Ooh, who you gonna talk to? Talk to myself. Ooh, I can't talk to myself. I tried to read this and then I stopped. Try it again. The pattern. There is a pattern that projects your potential. Somebody say, I know I have great potential. 
This speaks to us seeing and saying what God says about us. How do you see yourself, especially in God? Are you looking at the same thing? Oh, Are you focused on the same thing? We can look at the same thing and see something different. It's called opinion. Everybody say opinion. And it's natural for all of us to have one. But many times, you will focus on what, you, what really catches your eye, or you focus on what's really attracting you. So, in the process, in the pattern, we have to learn to focus right. I gotta leave that and move on. There was a pattern that promotes and presets your pace. A pattern, a governor, if you please. God presets our pace so that we can endure. Not all the time, but I must say, someone comes in, they're just saved and they're excited and they're going to talk about all that they're going to do. And I'm going to be in every Bible class and I'm going to so and so and so and I'm going to say it to myself, ha 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 ha. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't say that myself, oh, bless you baby, hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Because we know the reality of all of that, don't we? We have said things like that ourselves. And it wasn't even a tornado. It was just a tornado warning. Hallelujah. I'm sorry. It wasn't even a warning. It was just a watch. And our mind said, mm-mm, too many trees on Galvin Road. <laughs> we make all this great noise and talk about what we're going to do. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. You know I can stay there alone. But, but he sets presets so that we won't make shipwreck before we get what count up the cost. Tell somebody to count up the cost. Th that's what the Bible says. The Bible says, you know, before you build that tower, you better see what goes into it. On the outside, pastoring looks easy. Well, I would have did this. Or I would have said, you don't know half of what's going on. Amen. Many times, you cannot deal with one isolated situation. You have to look at the whole picture, how everybody is going to be affected and how everybody is going to react. It's just like a couch quarterback. They would have had a perfect score in the Super Bowl, but put them on the field. And somebody running after them and see what they do. <laughs> there is a pattern that portrays your plan. This speaks to the fact that God puts a pattern in you and it's being like a Polaroid print of divine intent. Hallelujah, I like that. Man. God's pattern is a Polaroid print. Now, some of y'all don't know what a Polaroid is. All of y'all, oh, that was when we had a ride back in the day. That was our tablet. Praise the Lord. See, we took the Polaroid and we could see it then. The same way y'all see it on the tablet then. Huh? Say so what? That's right, you had to wait two minutes. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Th that, was the one when, that was the one when you tore off the ugly part that really looked like your life. And you had to wave it. You had to take it and wave it in the hands. Now, you see that? You know what was happening? It was being processed. The picture was being processed. The image, oh God, had been taken but it hadn't developed yet, Lord. Right. The image was already there, but it had yet to wave it in the air. Oh, God. Because, mm, mm, mm. 
That was the process. Hallelujah. And then when the process was over, you had to take the cover off of it. And the thing that was left was an ugly image of you. <laughs> Y'all, this will preach so much. I don't know how to The process, oh God, the process took away the ugly image. And you threw the ugly image away. And that was the new picture that came because it went through the process. Did you get it? Did you get it? The picture was taken. The image was set. But it still took a process. I had to wait. Somebody say in the fullness of time. God Almighty. Look, 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 look. Then it moved up. And God lightened the process. You took the picture with the new Polaroid. And you could watch it happen. You didn't have to take nothing off. But you still had to wait. Look at somebody say, you still got to wait. You still got to wait. So you laid them out. Lay them out. I need to walk a little. Ooh, there come, there come, there come, there come. Where was I? Process. Oh, yeah. Polaroid. Polaroid print of divine intent. So that we could see what God sees. There is a practice. I'm going to, I'm, I won't say that, let me, hold on, help me. I'm going to say, I'm just going to read them. It's 1.30, I know it's time for us to be going home. There is a practice. The practice is the art of actually doing it over and over. Training, the drill, the rehearsal, the repeat, the exercise, the run through. See, Brother Jones missed practice. He was singing everything up there in one part of that song, hallelujah. And I said to him, see what happens when you miss practice? <laughs> and, and by the way, I want to know how you get towel service in the choir. Help me, Chief. <laughs> I mean, I'm the pastor. I should have towel service. But I look here, come Rakesha. <laughs> giving her daddy towel service today. I said, you better go ahead on, Brother Jones. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you right now, everybody in this choir cannot have towel service. We cannot have Sunday morning service and everybody running up here to your dad and your cousin with a towel. <laughs> Bring their towels and lay them at the foot of the steps. <laughs> so when they're going up, they can pick up their towel as they go. There was a practice that produces your purposed product. Yes, sir. What do you mean, preacher? The purpose God gave you becomes your product. Your purpose in this life is the product that you give to the world. 